Hi, second grade. This is the last lesson lesson that I'm going to be teaching in chapter 10, and it is 10-5, use models to add. So we are going to use our place value chart or using our columns to add, and then also have our um, problems on the right side. So using that model, that hundreds, tens, and ones to be able to add those numbers together. So we are going to look at our place value blocks first. We are going to use manipulatives to be able to figure out how to add these three digit numbers together. So we are going to use our hundreds, tens, and ones blocks. So in our first problem, we have three hundreds. So we have 100, 200, 3 hundreds. And then we have 342. So we have one, two, three, four, we have four tens, and then we have two ones. So that gives us our number 342. Now let's look at the next one. We have four tens and 454. We have five tens in uh, the number 454. I think I said, did I say four tens? I meant four hundreds. We have four hundreds and four hundred. And then we have five tens and then we have four ones. So we are using our place value blocks. So if you have place value blocks at home, I highly encourage you to get these out and use them for this edition. If you don't, you can use um, Legos, you could use Cheerios, you could use anything that you have at home to be able to help you and use manipulatives to be able to solve these edition problems. So let's go ahead in our hundreds chart, let's add how many hundreds blocks we have. So we have, let me get my red pen out. We have one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, ooh. Hold on. <laughs> four, five, six, seven. So we have seven hundreds in that spot. But we are going to start with our ones first because remember we always start with our ones with addition so and subtraction. So we are going to go one. I don't know why I keep on doing that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two ones plus four ones equals six ones. Now we're going to go over to our tens place. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we have nine tens in our tens place or 90. And then we figured out we had seven hundreds in our hundreds place. So our answer is 796. So 342 plus 454 equals 796. And those are using our manipulatives to be able to help us solve this problem. All right, so we're gonna to go to our next one. Um, our next problem problem is 171 plus 516. So we are gonna do this one together. So I want you to write these columns out. You can also draw everything if you don't have any manipulatives at home. You can draw out these blocks. Just draw a square for the hundreds, draw a line for the tens, and then draw a dot or a little square for the ones. And you are able to use these blocks or these place value to be able to help you out also. So in our first number, 171, we have 100. Let me put that in purple. We have 100. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this is 7, 6, 7 tens, and 171. And then we have 1, 1. Now let's look at 516. We have one, two, three, four, five hundreds. We have one, 10, and we have one, two, three, four, five. We have six ones. So let's go ahead and add these together. So starting at the ones place, remember that's where we always start. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one plus six equals seven ones. Now let's go over to our tens place. We have 10, 20, 
30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So we have eight tens or 80. So seven plus one equals eight. Now let's go over to our hundreds place. We have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. So we have six hundreds or 600 and one plus five equals six. So that is our answer 700, or sorry, 171 plus 516 equals 687. All right, now I want you guys to do this problem on your own. So I want you to pause this video and draw out your manipulatives on your chart and make that chart and then add these two numbers together. Add together 670 plus 225. And when you're ready, go ahead and press play and then we can go over this problem together. So let's look at our numbers. We have 670, so let's count how many hundreds we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six hundreds. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven tens. And then we have zero ones because we have no ones in that place. Now let's look at our next number, 225. We have one, two hundreds, one, two tens or 20. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five ones. So now we're gonna add these problems together. Remember, we always start at a ones place. So we are gonna add, we have five because we have one, two, three, four, five, plus nothing or zero. So five plus zero equals five. Now we're gonna go over to our tens place. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we have 90 or nine tens, seven plus two equals nine. And then we're gonna go over to our hundreds place. We have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. So we have 800 or eight hundreds and six plus two equals eight. So our answer is for 670 plus 225 is 895. All right, so that is using our three ways to add two and three digit numbers. Our, we can use these blocks, we can use these place value, these base 10 blocks to help us add. We can use mental math in those columns, those partial sums to help us um, Add, and we can also use open number lines. Remember we did open number lines. You can th use those to add um, our two and three digit numbers. So that's just going back on all of our lessons that we just did to be able to help us add. All right, I hope this helped you guys with chapter 10. See you guys later.